Here I am in PowerSchool, and I've clicked on Class Pages to access one of my course pages. If I want to choose a different class, I simply click up here at the top to choose whatever class I want to view. This is the LMS. This is where I post course materials. So let's get started. At the home page, I'm going to add a welcome message and some files. Then I'll show you how to add an assessment and an assignment in the units uh, that we have here. So to add a welcome message, first I want to think about where I'd like it to go. I can put things over here on the left or over here in this tiny space on the right. I want my welcome message to show here in the top left, and then over here on the right, I'll put some files. To get started, I click Add Content Block. There are a lot of different blocks that we could add. They range from files to text to image images. You can even embed a website. So you can explore the tabs here, and you can see what something is by hovering over it, and then an example or explanation appears here on the right. First, let's just add a message, which is just text. I click here. The title is visible to students, so I'll call it welcome. I might say, welcome to this course. You could list course objectives. You could even put important links if you like. You could include information about a test date if you teach an AP or IB test, or general study skills that you encourage. And to, paste, uh, to post this, we have to first choose where it will be placed. So click on Block Placement to see the options. I want this to appear in the top left corner, so I click on that space. Then I click Save. There it is, welcome. Next, let's add some files. Again, I click this Add Content Block button. Then I choose Files. Now, this is actually a collection of files. It wouldn't be appropriate to call it the syllabus, because anytime I post other files, I'll put them here. Instead, I'll give it a generic name like Important Class Files. I click away, and now I can view this block placement option. I click it to expand, and again, I want this to appear here on my site, so I choose that square. Then I click Next. Time to start adding files. I click Upload, and then there will be two ways to upload files. You can choose them from your uh, Finder window where it shows you all of your fol folders, or if you have that window open, you can click, drag, and drop the files right here to upload. I'll click Choose Files. Okay, I'm going to add this file, this file, and this file. I should probably convert them into PDFs first, but I'll ignore that step for now. If I want to select multiple files at once, I can click the first one, then on my keyboard I push and hold control. While control is pressed, I click on Lab Safety Contract, and now I've just selected two files. I can let go, let go of control now. I click Open, and there they are. But whoops, I forgot one, so let me click Choose Files again, and choose the final file which I forgot earlier. Then I click Attach. While they upload, this is a great time to see if Michael Buble is touring in our area. Okay, important class files. I'm not going to put a description. They're pretty self-explanatory. Maybe I say, download these files and share with your parents. Then I can click Save. Or if you want to change how they appear, you can go ahead and do that. Syllabus. Lab safety contract. Maybe I want to take away this extension so it looks cleaner. Then I click Save. Okay, here we are. Now an important thing to note is that if you change the name, it doesn't change the actual file name. If a student downloads syllabus, they'll still see the original honors physics syllabus title that I had before.